closest thing I've done to play disc golf in the last, uh, in my entire life uh, is listen to one of my favorite ska songs. That's the closest you've come? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and well, it's not even fun. about disc golf, it's about Ultimate Frisbee. Well, that's totally different. Yeah. But, let's... It's called 175, it's about the, the weight of a... The weight of a disc. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. Closing this? No, I'll, well, I gotta bring that bag. I guess we could just bring the bag. You want me to grab the bag. Sure, can you just lock the doors? I don't have a free hand here. All right, hi everyone, we're live here at the Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake. This is about, uh, I don't know, like five to ten minutes to, from Universal, about 25 or so minutes from Disney. If you're looking for an activity, I should correct myself. I said this was free, but technically it was $2. So if you're ready to splurge, there's a giant park here. It has two disc golf courses. I came here, uh, I've only been here twice since I've lived in Florida. I've only played two rounds of disc golf in the last five years. But before we get started, I want to introduce you to myself and Ryan and also these discs and what they're all about and let them get a head start. So, Ryan, there's two courses here at Bill Frederick Park. Two. There's uh, the original course and the T2, the Turkinator, which I enjoy the name of that. I also enjoy the name of that. <laughs> um, we have to decide which disc you're going to use and I'm going to use today. There are two different courses. Hi, everyone. I'm Pete. That's Ryan. We're going to play some disc golf today. We had a great workout this morning, and uh, now we're going to play a little disc golf. Ow, my body. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my legs hurt so bad. So this also goes by the name decided of decided only ones going in. Yeah. Uh, Frolf or frisbee golf, but we call it disc golf. Uh, you have a few different styles of disc. I brought a few here. About I brought uh, just around twenty, which we're not going to be using them all. But basically, you have your drivers, your mid ranges, and your putters. Uh, the easiest to decipher would be your putters which would be these larger brimmed ones, these. Yes, so these are putters because what you do is you're aiming for these baskets, the chain link baskets. You can kind of see one in the distance right over there. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Right there, there's the basket. I'm sure we'll spend plenty of time close to one, but not in there. <laughs> well, that's the thing. So it's Ryan's first time playing. I used to play a lot. I used to play like once a week. Uh, in, when I was living in New York, because I had a big state park, Hexter State Park. Shout out to the South Shore of Long Island. Uh, they had a 22 hole. Or sorry, is it 21 or 22? I, we played 22 at the practice basket, maybe. I don't remember, but I should. But we played it all the time, and we made up our own courses. But anyway, uh, but now that I moved to Florida, I've only played twice in the last five years. Ryan's never played. But anyway, so yeah, these are your putters. They have a nice fat brim. Uh, it is because when they hit the chains, you want uh, the chains to stop. And for it to land in the basket. That is how you score in disc golf. Every throw is one stroke. And it must land in the bottom of the basket. If it gets stuck on top, that does not count. If it goes in and out, it does not count. It's got to sit in the basket. Uh, so these putters are great for that. So you're going to need a putter and I'm going to need a putter. I got the Air Jumpman. The dude, Air Dude here. There you go. Um, this is one of my favorites, so I might take that. We're uh, repping Long Island Disc Golf. Shout out to Long Island Disc Golf. We got the Pearl Jam Dude. We got Sierra Nevada. I love that one. Well, then that might be the one you're going to get. And then another Long Island disc golf. You like Sierra Nevada? I love it. All right. There's your putter. We each have one putter. It's got big foot on it. Good to go. Next up, we have mid ranges. I think I only brought one or two because you don't use it that often. Let's see. So your putter is going to be when you're nice and close, right? Then your mid range is going to be when, like, you don't want to rip a driver because these drivers need to be hit hard you got to snap them at the wrist great <laughs> um i think i just broke i think i just broke uh did i i think i just for one for us to share which is fine that's you know we're really, we don't need it and then we have all of our drivers which are right here if i can angle this camera down so, I'll give you a little bit lesson here. Again, we're letting the group in front of us go. Uh, there's a few different fun ones here. You'll see numbers on these. Uh, and if they're not on the front, they're on the back. So, here you have the Wraith, which is 11, 5, minus 1, 3. 
And the, what those numbers mean, and then some of these that don't have them, I wrote them on the back. So this is a stable disk, 11.5 minus 2.2, uh, and so on and so forth. But anyway, what those numbers tell you, that first number is the speed. Uh, they go on a scale of 1 to 14. So you'll see the putter. Just a uh, nice, easy... Yeah, the putter is a speed three because you're not throwing that fast. You're throwing that like, uh. the drivers you kind of want to rip. So picture a lawnmower motion with a snap of the wrist at the end. Uh, so one to 14. I would recommend for us, you know, I used to be able to throw up to 12, but you really got to be polished. 9, 10, 11 will get most of the job done. Uh, and that's how fast it's going to cut through the air or the wind. Five is uh, how much float it has. So some disc will float or kind of hover in the air longer. Others will kind of just take a direct path down. Um, that's float. And then the next number is how much it's going to go to the right before it comes back left. So if you're right-handed, you're lefty, right? I'm left-handed. So it's going to be the opposite for you. But for me, when I throw it, most discs fade to the right and then curve back to the left. For lefties, they're going to fade to the left and come back right. Uh, so that first number is how much it goes to the left first. Uh, hence the negative number. If you're looking at like a scale, negative one is over here. One of the only things that I throw with my left hand. Look at that. The last number is how hard it's going to cut back to the right. So this one's like I got a three on the end, so it's going to cut back pretty hard. This like monarch is a one on the end, so it's going to slightly come back. So this will stay straighter longer. This, if I want to go around a turn, might be good to use because I could hang it hard right on the end. You'll get what all of that means. Uh, they're about to tee off in front of us. I guess they just warmed up. We should warm up first, too. We probably should. But what I'll do is instead of taking all these discs with us, let's just take a few of them. Because we don't need all of these. That would be crazy. Yeah, just a comfortable handful. Uh, I did bring a bag for us to put them in, too. All right. So we each have a putter. Let's, yeah. look, at, let's look at some speeds. I won't lose this one. Yeah, that's a good call. Well, there's water here, which I'm nervous about. I won't lose this one. Okay, good. <laughs> I like that confidence, because uh, I lost one in the water last time I was here. That's I mean, I feel like if I lose the putter, we're in big problems. <laughs> if we're putting that close to the water, there's already been some well, bad yeah, things putter, that have happened. Putter should not go in the water. Although there's this one course I played upstate, uh, or was it in Virginia, where the putter was on uh, the, the basket's on a hill, and everything falls down, and if you go past it, it rolls into a water. And not Perfect. just water, wrap it so it's gone forever. Oh, love that. Oh, it was brutal. Play there once. Um, let's see, this is 11s. 11s, 11s is a 12. Beast is a 10. What do we got here? 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, 10's right in front of me because I'm a 10. No, no. 12. These are great. Man, I miss these. These are so good. Yeah. A 9 here. 10. Another saint. All right, so we're gonna have to see what you need, but we don't need all of these. I'm just, maybe I'll take one of each and see what you're comfortable with. Sure. Let's do. Uh... Yeah, let's do. We'll take this. We can share that. Oh, you know what? Here, yeah, we'll do two saints. Let's see, this is a Sidewinder and this is a Thunderbird. We'll take the Thunderbird, we don't need this. Then we have a Avenge SS. The Beast is, you're gonna be using this mostly all day. The Beast is awesome. And I like the Monarch too. We don't need this one. And then I like the Archon. I don't think we're gonna need either one of these, but I'll take that one just in case. Plus I don't care if I lose that one. And Cedar Beach Classic, Destroyer, that's going to fall hard. And this is a turn. I kind of like the turn a little bit. We'll take that one. We don't need this one. All right. This should be enough for everything we need disc golf wise. Those are your two discs you used the most today. I'm going to put the rest of these in that They're bag. a lot floppier than I uh, expected. Yeah, they go. Well, I've never touched one of these before. They're not <laughs> as sturdy. I mean, they're different hardness, hardnesses. Hardnesses. Is it. It's just like... You can really, you can really flex it with no effort. They're like um, almost rubber. Yeah. Instead of like a well, keep traditional mind, frisbee are, is like a hard plastic. These are gonna, uh, yeah, for sure. This not those. And I'm also, I'm trying to explain for the people yeah, at home. Go ahead, well, I love it. I'm learning as well. I love it. Are you on there here? Let's get you on there. Yeah, they're like they're they're quite flexible. They're they very much like they're not gonna shatter. 
like a like a frisbee if it hit the wall would would crack. This isn't gonna crack. This is gonna. And we bounce. will hit trees today. Oh, for sure. Definitely gonna hit some trees today. All right. I might hit more trees than uh, baskets. Well, let's. I mean, that's not a great goal, but. <laughs> no, I, I don't know if I said that it was a goal. Luck. All right, put these back in the car and then we'll begin. Then we shall begin. Here's a big difference between Pete and I is Pete kept uh, the the price tag on or the barcode the entire time that he's had this disc, uh, and that would have been taken off the day I bought it. Working out is hard. Don't stop doing it. Stretch. Yeah, I'm stretching right now. Yeah, I'm having trouble walking. By the way, I'm wearing crazy socks today in case people did not know, it is World Down Syndrome Day. So we're rocking some crazy socks. I didn't get the memo. Um, that was my fault. My memo department shut down this morning. Yeah, Pete's assistant failed him. She's fired. <laughs> All right, let's go warm up a little bit. Let's do this disc golf here in Orlando. Thanks for watching. If uh, you can help us out, hit the like button. It really does help. I know it's not going to do as well as a Disney stream, but it's still a real fun thing to do in the Orlando area. 300 feet, that's way too far. Yeah, well, that's if you're playing the blues. There's also the whites. So we could play the whites. Uh, there's an A and a B. We could play from 265. I mean, we could do it the easier course. So the white's right up here. It's the blue tee. There's the white tee. And then there's two baskets here. There's an A basket and a B basket, which is really cool. Uh, it's a fun course when that happens. Uh, do you want to warm up? There's a couple of baskets over here for warming up. Uh, yeah. Let's warm up. I I so you could even start from here. So this is putter range. Basically, I'd say if you're within 50 feet, you want to throw a putter which is the pink one. And again, for you, all distance, your lefty are gonna go left first and crash right. For me, they're gonna go right first and crash left. I don't know which hand I throw a frisbee in. Oh boy. Well, that's what you gotta figure out first. The very first throw of Ryan's disc golf career. All right, let me grab my putter too here. Right into the van. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty good. All right. But you see how it's going to definitely go right? Like, I'm almost going to aim for this sign because it's going to crash that way. way. Hold, on, hold on for a second. Let's see if I can get my putting down here. Like, that's safe. Just sit by the basket. I can tap that in. We call it a tap in. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Keep putting. Keep practicing. I'm going to go from basket to basket. I went the same distance with either hand. Well, one's meant for putting and one's meant for driving. This thing has to be ripped hard or it's not going to work. I didn't throw either of them very hard. Well, the putter, you don't have to. That's a good toss. There you go. Right I'm just going to be ambi ambidextrous today? Let's see. I'm going to try and go this way here. Come on, dude. Get in the basket. Oh, off the cage. Come on. While holding the gimbal. There you go. You're getting it. So if you're throwing it righty, you see it's going to do the same thing as me. Start right and then go left hard. Yeah. I feel like I can do it either hand. So whichever the whole That's impressive. Uh, A switch. It's in. That almost fell through. All right, we'll do one more round of warming up, and then I'm ready. We're going to warm up on the course. Oh, I thought that was crashing in. Oh, I got to tap, and you got a hard putt. I'm, I'm starting to figure out the whole fade thing. The fade thing is the most important thing to figure out, yeah. 
I would start working on just one arm and perfecting that. Listen, no perfection. <laughs> you have to build something, what, a thousand times for it to be? Ten thousand. Look at you. All right, you're warmed up. Let's walk over to this first pin. Hello to Dawn. She says uh, she's got a meeting this morning when she popped in to leave a like. She's coming back. Thank you, Dawn. David Long in the house. What's up, Siva? Co, everyone. Hi, Lynette. Hello, ghost host. Peaches P. Lady Kirk. Working and lurking. Hit the like. I appreciate it. Robert D says, nice. I'm walk uh, watching while I'm on my way back from Miami. That's awesome. Good morning to Mark Mueller. Peaches. Said I would be so bad at this. There was no promise that we're good at this. No, no one said we were good at this. Sign me up for Donut Gov. Tomorrowland Traveler in the house. Did a great live stream last night. Donut Gov. Melvin Lee, what's that? up? Happy Thursday. I don't know, but I'm into it. All right, so we're going to play uh, the white tees. So a little bit closer. And we're going to do basket A. So it's a little bit closer. We're going to be not as aggressive. So many options here. You can go blue to A, blue to B, white to A, white to B. So you have four options in every hole, and there's two courses here. So really, you could play, so what, eight rounds of disc golf. we're a 265-foot uh, par three. Yeah, so you can kind of see it. What you want to do here is we have to kind of pipe it. So these trees are the first hazard, right? This, this hole kind of lends itself to righties because you want to cut through here, but you know it's going to fade hard to the left. So you kind of want to hold the tree line on the right as long as you can. And with throwing it, you're going to throw, yeah, the beast. So here, I'll show you the motion. You want to hold that for a sec? Yeah. So for this motion, let's see if I can find. Don't, don't start teaching me a forehand either because. No, I'm not going to do forehands. It's a little crazy. I'm not going to learn that today. That's, I'm going to go with the knee on today. So when you're holding it, you're, I do the four fingers on the inside. Okay. So hard, thumb on top. What you want to do is you want to just basically take it across your body. You're going to go level, and then you're going to snap your wrist at the end because that spin's going to make it cut through the air. And, uh, yeah, I just do a basic X step. There's a box step. There's a few different steps, but I just go boom, and then I'm going to rip it across the do, do that foot step one more time so that the, uh, the wonderful people watching at home can see it. And you're just going to go boom, cross, and then rip it across the body. All right. And we're going to we're gonna see that in motion now. Twice in the last five years. It's been at least two and a half since I played at all. Let's see if we can make some magic happen. This is that carny magic. And I've lost it already. I don't know where it is. Oh, it oh it's. That's safe. Well, it hit that tree. It floated on over there, but we made it through uh, the first round of trees. So I hit those branches and I'm down there. All right, here we go. It's not about muscle, more technique. It's more about snapping the wrist and bringing it evenly across your body. Yeah, but you see how you're, you're lifting your arm up at the end? You want to go dead even. You're still going up. If anything, start high and go low. Start here. Yep, but now, like, don't be as extreme. Yeah, look. So it's like you're literally going to... If you picture you at a table, then you're going to slide it across the table and release. Because if you throw it when your hand's going up, it's going to go straight up into a tree and then dive back down. I love that. That's, that's <laughs> All right, no pressure. You got this. You just throw it on the ground, too. They're meant to be on the ground. Yeah, but then it, I don't like when it feels sandy. Oh, okay. All right. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, we should have brought a towel. I don't like the <laughs> Just try to get it done. You see that white flag? That's all that my goal is. I like it. I mean, that's a, it's ambitious for your very first throw of your life. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. That went terrible. Not terrible. You just, again, you released it a little high. That's why it went straight up into the air. Oh. Listen, this is kind of, you just said it takes 10,000 throws to master. This is like, just like that ball golf. First one. Yeah, you just had one throw. It said for me, like when I was playing, I was playing probably once a week for about two years when I lived in New York. It's been a while now, so it's going to be ugly, but you are much better at throwing than I am at my first time. All right, so you can see the two baskets down here, right? You got one in the trees right there. Is that the one we're going to? I believe so, because I think it's the closest one, yeah. So right there, underneath the trees, there's a basket. Perfect. I love throwing at trees. So look, you're, if you're going to throw righty, remember, you're aiming way to the right of that. So you want to throw like to where those branches are hitting the ground to the right, because it's going to come way back left. It's not bad. Low. 
Low is good. Low it can be controlled way more <laughs> than a high throw. You lose all control. The wind takes it over. You want that to cut through the air level. If w the wind catches it on either side, it's all over. Uh, look, it only took me two throws to go as far as Pete. That's not bad. And anything could happen. All right. So I got to try and sneak it underneath that basket. All right. I got this. I feel, I feel like we can do it. Uh, another thing with disc golf, you're allowed to stand behind or on, or you can flip your disc over as a marker. So, like, I could stand here and throw it. I'm going to walk up. Oh, that's far. Yeah. I mean, I think that distance is in line with the basket. It just went way left. Oh, no, I just meant that it was a far throw. Oh, no. That was 40% uh, strength there. Um, darn. If I'm you, if I'm you, I'm aiming for that right tree stump. Okay. I'm aiming for it. I would just aim for that. Now it's going to hook back. There you go. So a little more distance. You had the right technique. That was the right. You're figuring it out. I'm you're doing great. The snap. It's Ryan's first time ever playing disc golf, and that's not bad. Yeah, I'm only going to get like a triple boat. <laughs> We're not keeping score today. I'm keeping score. All right. Fair enough. This is a hard basket. So, I mean, out of the gate, Bill Frederick Park testing you. Other, other courses are not this hard. Uh, this is surrounded by trees on three different corners. You have to keep it low. There's overhang. This is a hard uh, basket. And now we are into putter territory. This is definitely a tricky par three to begin with. This is a hard par three for sure. I would agree with you. I would say that this is much more fair of a par four. Yeah, this is a hard course. So I said we won't keep score, but we're just going to have some fun out here. So mine, again, fades to the left. So all these trees are my way. So I have to angle it and try to cut it to the right so it just dives in this way. It's not fun. I'm not good at It looked like you were trying to cast a spell. It was very like... What's the uh, Harry Potter one? Uh, Avada Kedavra. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, extra virgin olive oil. Yeah. That one. So you're going to use that putter. Oh, am I? And same thing I did. You're going to try because you got all this stuff in your way. Just try to sneak it underneath. I mean, don't, you don't even have to go for chains. If you keep it flat, it will slide in. I mean, a little low, well, but you got the right idea. You know, I thought I would. Now you can go for it. Now you can go for it. I thought it would do different things. Dagger it in there. Aim a little bit to the right. Keep it up in the air, and it will crash right into the chains. Oh, you have the right height. Just got to go a little further to the right. Yeah. I also wanted to show everyone who's watching uh, Bill Frederick Park. It's a beautiful park, so you get to see a lot of it when you play the disc golf course. You go all along the water, Turkey Lake. We'll show you some of the condos and other hotels. Here we go. That's a bogue. All right. Can you nail it? Hey! Bogue. Not bad at all. I don't know where... That's a quadruple bogue. Uh, next hole is... That way, I think. Oh, this According way. To this sign that yep. fell off. I believe it. I'm not keeping an overall score, but I'm keeping track of each hole because I would like to come par at least on one hole. I think you can par one today. I see it. I think that's a reasonable goal for day one. All right, here's uh, the second tee pad. Oh, I remember this one. This is not fun. What are you talking about? This looks great. <laughs> Hole two from the whites. 310 foot par three. Oh, and people are coming in behind us. We got to get moving. Oh, I all right. So we're going better. all the way up. I'm pretty sure this one follows the white fence and is down by those trees. Yeah, it kind of follows the trees on the fence. Yeah, which is hard. So this is hard for righties because all discs go to the left. Uh, God, just kidding, I'm left-handed. This is where left-handed comes in handy. So I'm going to try to throw 
this disc because I think I can turn it that way. All right, let's do it. So he's right, I mean, not right. He's probably 20 feet on the other side of that palm tree bush yeah. thing. Which I don't even know where the basket is, but I'm assuming that clearing will get me in the right direction. I would assume so. <laughs> and now I'm gonna learn how to throw real hard on my left. Just keep it level, slide it across the table and snap the wrist. Oh, wrong basket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. His first time playing, we have to... I have to ruin somebody else's first time, right? <laughs> yeah. See, that's a hard first basket. Well, you have room now. <laughs> yeah, I got so much room to, for an activity. <laughs> I'll see if I can find where the basket is for you. Do you want to play through? Yeah, I'm going to go look for it myself. <laughs> there it is. You see it? Yeah, it's by. Yeah. Oh, I like my spot. I'm right there. And the basket's right there between the trees. All right, good. Let's see, this guy's pretty good. Let's see if his drive beats my drive. Oh, right into the tree. See, Ryan, you're not alone. <laughs> I had a good drive there. I like that. I'm gonna in this little clearing right to the basket. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. Happy Thursday. So Ryan is blocked out of the parks this week. Uh, I just did the parks yesterday. We were thinking of a fun live stream we could do together. And when I heard he's never played disc golf, I was like, you know what? Let's go get our steps in and show everyone something new. We've never done this on a live stream or edited video. So no, right there by the fence. Yeah, there's only one by the fence. I don't see the other one. This is a tough course, too. Oh, he's doing a moonshot going over this tree that I'm standing under. And boom, right next to me. Yeah, I think that's where you want to be. Well, thanks for letting me play. Oh, of course, yeah. I mean, he's it's his first time, so I figure we're going to be uh, doing a, <laughs> a light stroll through today. Oh, nice. I haven't played here in three years, but it's a fun course. It's hard. It's a little tough. Have a good round. There you go, Rye. Well, it's a game of inches. Your technique's getting is is right. Now at this is the end, just like snap that wrist. Are you throwing righty or lefty? Uh, this one. You're going righty? So you want to aim for like me. There you go. You're getting some distance on every throw. No, I think that was like, I think you're gaining like a few feet every time you throw it. I'll learn one day. It's only took me, taking me three to get to where you are. But it's your first time playing ever. Yeah. Vince, what's up? So let's enjoy the fact you followed up last night's live masterpiece with a relaxing and different kind of feat today. Yeah, we figure we mix it up. What's up, Izzo? There you go. Well, you're in control, which is good. I want you to take like over I felt control. Like I would be. 
Oh, you got it down. You, you shot it so hard. Again, so with righties, it goes to the right and left, but there's trees in the way, so I have to do like a moon hook shot to the left. I hope it goes. Cut through. Bang. It cut through better than I expected it to. So you're saying this is where I use my putter? Yeah. And now the putter is a, a slower disc, so you can throw it a little bit harder. And it doesn't curve as much. You can kind of throw it just to the right of the basket pretty aggressively, and it'll die on its own. See how it doesn't cut back to the left as much? But that's the right angle when you're throwing the other disc. Yeah. The putter kind of just holds that line. I see that now. Hopefully I got past the tree enough that it's not in my way. Yeah, I think you're good. Because you're also allowed to step to the left or right, as long as you have one foot behind it. So, like... With this disc here, like I could put one foot here, but I could put another foot like all the way over here and lean around a tree, or I could oh, do cool. I could do this foot and go like this. I like that. I can go this way. You could put a knee down. It's kind of like um, ultimate frisbee where you can pivot, but you can't. Yeah. Come back. That well, might, that might be a that might be a par. One, two. Oh no, that Bogues. was. Ah. Forgot about that second one into the tree. Yeah. I forgot about all of them. <laughs> this, uh, this Honestly, you're doing great. Yours is just your, your training mode. This is the first time ever playing. If this is a hard putt, if you make this, I'd be impressed. Oh. So close yet so far. I hit it too hard and then bounce out. Uh. But I didn't throw it hard enough. These are good uh, baskets because they have the double chains. So normally it'll really hold on to it. You could rip it right into there. Also, so everyone knows where you're going, besides that sign on the bottom, if you ever see these orange things, it has a little arrow to point you in the direction of the nest basket. Or tea box, I should say. You can see box. Turkey Lake the here. Has the direction to the basket. To the basket, yes. Ah, I see it. There it is. I love a basket. The basket. This is where it gets dicey. I think the next few holes are along the water. Moschetti and meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I heard you delicious uh, Moschetti. All right, here we go. Hole three. We're looking at 270 feet, par three. Uh, you want to be careful. All the water is out of bounds. And the bike path on the left, if it lands on the concrete, is out of bounds. You go to either side of it. But if you land in the street, it's OB. This is tough, but the basket's down, obviously not straight into the water. It follows the path down that way. Where that guy is, he's at the basket. So you want to kind of throw it along the fence line because it'll curve that way, right? A hundred percent. I was going to say like literally just throw it, <laughs> throw it straight line. like here and then just keep it low. Yeah. And it's going to go naturally left. I'll do it. You'll do it. All by yourself. Here we go. I could do it all by myself, baby girl. All right. Come on, baby. Oh, oh no. That just took a nice chunk out of that tree. Well, now I don't have to worry about hitting that same spot <laughs> on that tree. I'll You're welcome. You got this. It's the whole stepping thing, too. It's a box step. So you, you do a practice one. Just take a step, put your other foot behind your foot. No, no, no hold on. You're, doing, you're stepping with the wrong foot. So when you're here... Um, you're going to take one step here. Yeah. Cross and then body. Yeah. So it's, I step cross and then pull it across my body that way. See, I'm sure you did like karaoke drills <laughs> and I always went over first. Oh, uh, well I go, <laughs> I mean, you should just do that. That looks like a really good move approaching the tee box. Yeah. It's a basic step. Just move your right foot, put the other one behind it. There you go. And then, yeah, that's good. And you're in, you're in bounds. I missed the Count it here. Back. I'll carry this until you get closer. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've been. <laughs> I haven't been using it. <laughs> they got some nice uh, canoes over here. These look pretty competitive. So long. And so thin. I feel like I would tip immediately. Yeah, I would. Everybody on that team would hate me. Flipping that thing. We'd be real Ooh. 
There are gators in here. You can see some fishing going on down here. It's beautiful. The basket is right in front of me. Right over here. But go to the right of the tree, it'll go left. There's the basket. We're going this way. Yeah, try to hit that gap. Go to the right and have it cut through these two trees. I would even go to the right of that. I'd aim for this one hard. <laughs> yeah, and and hard. Like give it give it some muscle. See? Perfect. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's go with this one. All right. Go to your home. All the way to the home. Uh oh. Oh, boy. Come back. Come back. Uh, tree saved you. Good tree. We're uphill. We're uphill. That was flying. Yeah, that went way, <laughs> way straighter. I threw it real than, light, too. It, it just, like, it didn't turn at all. I was just holding the line. Hold the line! Yeah. Is that the Hodor disc? Yes, <laughs> it's the Hodor disc. Hold the line! Yeah, so I would go same disc, but I'd aim for that tree. That's, that's one of my lines. But low, you had all these branches, but not too low. There you go, there you go. Good hop, oh. good skip. Okay, I was hoping it would roll. You're in the putter zone. You're in the putter zone. I was hoping I put enough stank on it that it would roll. A little little more ripping and skipping. Oh no, where am I? Please be on this side of the fence. Oh, I think you're for sure on this side of the fence. What color disc was it? Bright uh, yellow. Hmm. I don't know, I went around this tree, but the tree helped, I thought. All right, I'm still, I'm not wet. I'm right there. I can putt from there. That's going to be a hard one, but I'm, I'm into it. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be an interesting putt to it's film. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be a fun one. Oh, cool. They've got opera houses over here. Oh, yeah, opera houses. Nice. All right, here we go. Ain't no thing. Yeah, that wasn't bad at all. <laughs> Neither of us are in great shape right now. Everything hurts. <laughs> yeah, they do have uh, restrooms across this park as well. Here it is, Turkey Lake. Oh, get there. So this is Turkey Lake. You can see the sign there. It says this lake is a natural body of water and contains wildlife, including alligators. Do not swim in it. I can attest to that. I've seen alligators in this one. one Look at you. I told you you're going to get there. I think, right? One, two, three. That's good. Yeah. All right, we're putting this in. That might have been two boats. But it was less bogeys than normal. <laughs> Bingo, bango, bongo. It was one, at least one less bogey than traditional. I think it'd be great. All right. I remember the first time I played this course, my buddy came down from New York, uh, who I used to play disc golf with. So I was like, let's go try out this course. I'm like, all right, it's been a while since I played, but let's go play. And they were doing an event here and there was a tent here and we didn't know the tent was part of the event because the tee pad was underneath it. Mm -hmm. So we're like, that's nice. They provided shade for this tee pad. <laughs> <laughs> so we're playing through the tent. They're like, what are you guys doing? We're like, this isn't the tee pad. They're like, it is, but there's an event going on. We're like, oh, we're so sorry. Yeah, but I'm using the tee pad. Yeah, but we need, we thought you were providing shade. Oh, there's the, uh, so there's the next pad. 230 feet. Oh yeah, we'll go to the easier one. <laughs> See how it's uh, I guess considerable distance farther. 
That's one Ryan throw right there. Not bad. Wow, that guy just that guy's good, huh? We guess we'll let him play through. If he already went in, that's it's impressive. Yeah, so a lot of my buddies did that convert their strollers when their kids grow up into disc carts. I have a disc golf bag, but I didn't want to bring it. I thought it was a little too much. It's also very heavy. All right, we got an elevated basket. It's up high, so it's a little bit harder. We'll let this guy play through. I could use a little agua. I'm using the cooler bag for the disc today and the water bottle. Another elevated basket on the way back on a hill. This one messed me up last time. That's me. <laughs> you can play through. It's his first time, so we're learning as we go. I, uh, I used to play all the time when I lived in New York, but I took about five years off, so it's nice to be back. I don't know, but this weather today is beautiful. Yeah. 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 This is great. Yeah. Oh, it's because we're here. <laughs> you see that good X step, though? That's the I same did. step. That Have one, a great round. That one was graceful. Very graceful. You don't, again, you don't have to, it's not really muscle, just technique. You get a little bit of that graceful. momentum. She got that, that strong snap at the end, too. It's all in the snap, baby. Really spins that disc. <laughs> you gotta spin that disc. Wow, this guy's on his way back already? He's flying. Yeah, well, I mean, you saw how fast he went through the tree. I used to that when I wanted to work out but not work out was uh, jogging disc golf. Do two disc and you just run from throw to throw. I, um... Go ahead. I follow this guy on, on TikTok that does speed golf. Okay. Is that similar to the ball golf? Yeah. You wear, uh, you wear them all in, like, sheaths. Yeah. Um, but he is like Scottish and he just yells about how, uh, the, the ideal golf swing is like skipping a stone. But you watch current reviews, can I ask you this? I have watched it. I do not watch it. Yeah, the final season's out now, but there is an episode like two weeks ago, so funny about golf, where the guy, uh, is having a, a lesson with a pro. And Larry David sitting on the bench over there watching. The guy's like, no free lessons. He's like, what? I'm just tying my shoes. I'm sitting on a bench. I want to sit on a bench. And he's like, and then they, you see Larry David using the techniques he learned. And then he's, <laughs> the, he's like, you'll never reach him. You don't hit that well. And he's like, you guys are right. Use the techniques that he listened to on the bench. And the ball hits them. And he plays them. It's so fun. Oh. Larry David. What a, what a treasure. All right. We got all these trees in the way. I'm gonna, I don't want to duplicate what I just saw. But I feel like it might happen. No, you just got to you gotta be more confident. Well, it wasn't what you just saw. And also, that was really cool at the end. I'm just got to keep it safe. I was like, I'm just going to keep it low. That was really cool. It was it was going through the leaves for a long time. <laughs> it gave you a good wake. I like a good wake. Yeah. I had to make sure that I was holding the right disc. You're doing a great job. <laughs> I was checking as well. <laughs> I was like, this one doesn't have a picture on it. This is good. That's the correct one because you are a beast. You are a beast. Rip that thing, baby. Oh, way up in the air. Look at the wind take that thing like a sail. All right. All of the branches of this really big tree that's in the way. Listen, you hit no trees, which is impressive. So far. Rosita Klein, what's going on? I'm with Ryan today. For those who are just joining us, we are at Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake. Here's Turkey Lake. And we're playing a little bit of disc golf or frisbee golf or froth. Basically, you have these different types of frisbees. There's drivers, mid-rangers, putters to do different things. Ryan's going over here and he's going to try and rip it, I don't know, underneath this giant tree. It's a very hard course. It's Ryan's very first time playing. I thought it would be fun to come on out and do something different. 
Uh, and this is a really fun activity if you're looking for something to do near the theme parks. Like I said, you're 10 minutes from Universal, about 25 minutes from Disney. It's $2 to get in with the car. And uh, it's a beautiful park. Even if you don't play disc golf, it's a great park just to walk around. And they have uh, two different courses here. And each course can be played four different ways. Nice toss. You got a nice look at the basket now. Yeah, no, that's good because they're from there, you can go around that thing and right in. I'm right here, so. Hi, CJL. Hi, Rosita. Ooh, a Solande. That's not even fun. Uh, Lynette says, Ryan, you're doing great. Hi, Brandy. You're supposed to have fun. That's what it's all about. I'm gonna aim for that tree right there. That's a good move. And hi. No, you got a little more oomph, but that's good technique. You need a little more sass. I was a little afraid to, to, to magically get a really good throw one time and throw it directly into the water. <laughs> that would have been impressive if you reached the water from there. Well, you know, I didn't want to risk it. Also, now I'm in putt range. You are. Hi, Dave G. Yes, I'm wearing fun socks today because it's World Down Syndrome Day. Uh, so, repping for the Down Syndrome community and some awareness. Hunter, where are you? That's yours, that's mine. Where'd yours go, right there? It did. All right, here we go. Let's go basket time. Big basket, big time. We want jump putt. The tennis ground helped, I think. <laughs> All right, you got this. Drain it. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is you. I don't think this is a football situation. Oh, you got this. This is tough. For those who don't know, elevated baskets are very hard. You got to go throw higher, more wind, and it's on a hill, but good, nice and flat, so it doesn't roll. Excellent work. I thought it was gonna cut, uh, it didn't. Here we go. It just at one point. Those putters, they'll mess with you. Go in your home with holding the gimbal. You got this. Come on, baby. No! If you were holding the gimbal, you would have had it. I know, but it's all right. Uh, yay! Well done. Good day, sir. All right. I like that. That was a good hole. I'm telling you, you're getting better every hole. I'm having more fun every hole. It's a fun little activity, you know? Get your steps in. It's a fun activity. There's the harder one. There's no, that's we're not there yet. We're going to go down here. Oh, there's another one? So that's the hard one down there. Here's the other tee box. Because we go this way first. Interesting. This hole's it's tough. Hole. So there's a, uh, a bridge on this hole. And you either want to go in front of it or behind it, <laughs> because guess what's underneath it? Water. Trolls. Oh, water. Yeah. Oh. Well, you got to pay the troll toll. The troll toll. Let me hang my bag up. Oh, look at that. Nice little bag holder. All right, here we go. We got a 275 par three with the bridge in the middle. I would really appreciate it if they did anything other than a par three for once. Well, they, you don't, you're asking for trouble. Par three is the easiest. <laughs> no, I want, like, a par 7. Oh, those don't exist. All right, listen, there's the bridge. So I would go in front of it or way past it because there is troubled water. It, got it. <laughs> I'm going to try and get over it. Come on, baby. Wow, that's level. Right, wow. We're safe. We're safe. Let's go. Wow. That's what you could do if you just throw it level. Wow. You could do it. Where'd you aim? Uh, I aimed for the metal post coming out of the ground. <laughs> you want to aim to not go in the water. No, just aim for the metal post. You'll be good. <laughs> You're so afraid of that going in the water. Uh, said metal post. Don't be afraid. If it would went in, I would have got it for you. There's no gator swimming on stream, Pete. No, I don't think if you were 
you weren't going in the water to the right unless like you literally just it'd almost be impossible unless you're throwing well, it no, left. No, I just uh no, that was me focusing too much on my step. Yeah. That was what that was. Start further back so you don't like so you're not running off the T pad. All right, you're in here. I'm in there. You're in the fun stuff. It's adventure time. Oh there it is. Oh, that's not that bad. All right, so now this is what we call a real fun shot because you got to throw it from there. I would aim to the right of the bridge as hard as you can and let it just come back and crash on the other side of the water. Like, I would aim, like, you see where the metal sign is? Yeah. I would go between the metal sign and the bridge just hard. And high, right? Not too high because then it's going gonna, it's gonna to shorten your distance. You want to get past the water. So I would just go, like, from, from like, bicep to shoulder. Yeah, and just give a little snap on the wrist, and you'll get it. Don't be afraid to muscle it. Good, you're safe. Hey, look, I'm not in the water still. And you have a nice little shot and there. And I'll get over the water so easy. Yeah, if you if you hit the water here, it's not great. Yeah, if I hit the water here, we got big problems. <laughs> we have this elevated shot. Oh, you're in the, the Merc? I might be in the goo. Oh, you're safe. This elevated shot by Ryan is brought to you by SJG3 Collectibles. Maybe take a better shot. Well, this is a great angle we have. It's a good, Ryan's safe. And while Ryan collects his belongings, we cross this bridge over troubled water. Let's take a minute to thank our sponsors. SJG3 Collectibles. They're awesome. You know why? Over 800 items on the store every day with new items being filtered through every single day. Vince and his team over at SJG3 Collectibles right now have, I believe, over 900 items at their store, and they've been in business over 25 years. And how many negative reviews have they gotten? None. 100% positive feedback over 25 years. You say it's impossible. I thought so too until I looked it up. SJG3 Collectibles on eBay. You can search from the eBay stores or go to ebay.com backslash str backslash SJG3 Collectibles. Now let's get back into the action. Also, speaking of which, I did get a eBay advertisement today. Ooh. Um, you know, on, I was scrolling through Instagram reels. Uh, got an eBay advertisement and it was about collectibles and immediately I thought, hey, this is just an SJG3 I love it. I love it. Look at that. They're listening. Still you. Oh, that was a good drive. There's my disc right there. Really far. If it, this is my fifth throw. That's not bad from back there. All right, you got this. Just aim a little bit. Wait, other one. Switch the putter. Aim to the right. That's safe. That's good. It's good. I'm not in the water. I'm not. You're you're thriving. Exactly where I should. Everything is right in, in the world. Nature. Yep. All right. Go to your home. Don't go deep. Oh, there's some beautiful birds on both sides of the basket, left and right. Beautiful birds. Don't scare the birds. I'm not. Uh. No. I didn't give it enough oomph. I got too afraid. I was looking at these beautiful birds. He scared it away. Oh, here comes back up. Nice putt. I wasn't afraid of it that time. There you go. You got to embrace it. All right, let's see if I can do this again. Gimbal in hand with the backpack on. You got this, Pedro. Just don't hit the top disc this time. Bingo, bango, bongo. That's a par. I really wanted that bird. All right, here we go. Hole number six. They're figuring it out, too. They're like, how are we going to do this? Yeah. That was the best hole well, besides that I played today, but I mean, like, the best time I've ever played that hole, that was it. All right. Here we go. 242-footer, par three. Uphill. <laughs> Uphill. So this is the elevated basket we saw before, I think. I think. All right. Here we go. You want to, you mind help me out? Yeah. Let me, let me help you out. I'll just throw it through my 
I'll also toss this in the bag. Trade you. All right. All right. Let's do it. Where are you aiming? Uh, so I'm going to do a little trickery. I don't recommend this for everyone, but what I'm going to do is, I know this is going to go left, but I'm going to try and put it between that bush and these trees. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lip up so it curves to the right first, then snakes left and goes hopefully a big turn towards the back. Oh, okay. This okay. is... I like to hear your thought process so that when it Probably doesn't happen... I also don't want it to go too far to the right because there's that tree that's hanging over there. So we'll see. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully it works out. No! God, it was going to be so pretty if that just hugged that turn. Oh, that would have been so pretty. But that's life. That's that might be life. an adventure finding that one. I ain't worried about it. This is where you take the lead. <laughs> yeah. Start further back. Do uh, how far back? <laughs> right there. Because then you're gonna take one step with your right foot and then cross the left behind it and then rip that disc. <laughs> or the opposite foot. But I honestly that was flat. I know, I know where my disc is though. You do. You're probably gonna have a better hold than me. Honestly, that was that was great. That was beautifully flat. I'm going to just stand still and uh, throw it. You can do that. A lot of people do that until they perfect their form, and then they they introduce the step. I know a lot of people for the first year they played never ran up. Yeah, I think uh, running up is a bad choice for me because I think I threw it less far. Look at you. You actually have a path for your disc. Yeah, well, I, I put it on the disc path. <laughs> oh, there you are. It's not the elevated basket. It's right here, right next to those two little palm trees. I would aim for the other tree to the right of the palm trees. You're in the clear. You gotta look at the basket, as they say. Now this is gonna be fun. What color disc did you throw? Bright yellow, on purpose. <laughs> Thank goodness I got those tall socks on. Yeah, I'm gonna stay over here. Here, disky, 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 disky. Here, disky, disky, disky. Are you sure you didn't hit this first tree over here? Maybe I did. Ow! Get off of me! There it is. Nice find. Oh, I got a throw from there too. That's fun. Yeah, you got to be one with the Spanish moss. Let's just look at this technique. Oh, a beautiful throw. We'll take it. Souvenir. There's free souvenirs here. This place is great. I think that comes with the admission fee. <laughs> that guy's got $2 worth of moss. Hey, right, listen. People up north spend a lot of money on that moss. You're not lying. Yeah, sounds good. Thanks. Sorry about that. We're doing good, yes. Lynette says we're doing well because we haven't lost any disc yet at all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dawn says, how's the disaster going? Ryan's doing great. We're having fun. We are having That's fun. Hi, Shelly. She's on lunch break. It's high and it's down. Level. Level! No, I want it high. You want it high? Okay. The higher it goes, the harder it crashes. That's all you got to remember. Yeah, but I wanted that. All right. You want your putter? Yeah. Okay. I got you. Because I want it to be not where you are. Yeah, it's not the best spot, but honestly, I was throwing out of a woodsy situation. Yeah. You were you were in the thick of it. I was in a thicket. Well. Okay, okay. Confidence. <laughs> it's a bold move, Con. <laughs> if I do it confidently, it looks like I meant to do it. Oh, we're doing the knee. Oh, yeah. We got to go all out here. Because I got low-hanging. Fruit. It's tree in the way. Oh. The line was right. 
Style points. Oh, someone was cocky there. You just picked that up and threw it like it ain't no thing. Slam dunk. Uh, I done a, done a... Trick shot. You get trick points. I know. I got your fancy trick on, on camera. <laughs> Sweet. So now you can rewatch it by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> this is the one on the hill that we saw earlier. Ah, uh, yes, the elevated basket that's to the right. This hole is the worst. Look at her ripping it. Woo! She is ripping it. Rip it and rip it. I feel like that was some slogan for a toy from my childhood. I mean, I know set it and forget it. That was the Ronjo oven or the Ronco. All you gotta do is set it and, and the crowd will go, forget it. Two pads, I guess we're gonna do the closer one because Ryan is getting pretty good though. Hole number seven on the original course. This is a 242 foot par three. It is that elevated basket on the hill where they're finishing up. Yeah. I'm gonna try and make some magic happen. That's one peat throw. No, like if it's everything goes perfect. <laughs> yeah, like if uh, you do that throw that you did for the other hole. That one time. The the bridge hole. Yeah, you're just gonna do that every time. Yeah, if you do bridge hole throw, you got this. This is like bowl golf where if you hit it perfectly, like everyone's like, just do that again. Like it's not that easy. Hmm. I don't know about that. You don't want the big one. No. I don't want to mix you up, but besides the step. It's the angle that you release it, the torque, and then that snap. You gotta put it all together. But it's fun. That's why we like why we play the game. Alright. And this is a whole seven of many. Uh -oh. I'm uh, that that was my roll fault. Honestly, okay. not a bad lie. I was talking, that was my fault. No, it's okay. I was just in the zone. I was like, I'm going for it right now. You're aiming for that tree, right? Yeah, I mean, the one with yeah. The exactly. Give it some gusto. There you go. It's coming out level. That was just as far as with the stepping. No, yeah. I mean, because I think the step was throwing you off. So once you get that throw down, you get more comfortable, then you could start your little step routine. Yeah. Then I'll learn how to do it. <laughs> you start your step routine. Yeah. It is a beautiful day here at this beautiful park. I hope everyone there is having a great day. Happy Thursday. We're mixing it up. I know it's not Disney or theme park, but you know what? It's just a beautiful day, and we want to show you other things you could do in the Orlando area. If you want to A, save some money, or B, just kind of enjoy the great outdoors. I mean, Florida may not have a lot of mountains, but we have a lot of beautiful uh, lakefront parks that are fun. I believe that this is... $2 a person or $5 a car load? $2 a person or $5 for the car. Not bad at all. Yeah, you can't do that. You can bring food and barbecue. You could they leave have, and come back. They have restrooms. They have water, yeah. They have fishing areas. And you can keep the receipt and come back in. I did that as well. All right. Freeze, them under. You got to go to the right. So those trees shouldn't affect you. You should aim for my disc wherever it is. I don't know where your disc is. Oh, I found it. I'm aiming for that post right there. Good, good post. Good post. Post. Little low, little low. Oh, I got a stick Thanks, everybody, who's hit the like button. It does help. Hi, So Cargo. Good morning. Hi, Urban Family Adventures. Says, word up. How cool is this? Yeah, we're doing something a little different today. Yeah. Bill says, we're doing great considering we're not keeping score. Yeah, well, it's, his, it's honestly Ryan's very first time playing, and he's doing really well for your very first time. Like, you can see how these guys are throwing it. They are ripping it. They have disc golf themed shirts. Yeah, that's, that's how you know it's legit. All right, you're up. I'm over there. I found me. Oh, yeah, you're still way ahead of me. Not way. I'm off to the right. You got this. Put it on the hill. You got lots of room. There you go. You're getting more of that snap down, that wrist snap. 
Here, I'll hand you this. I focus on like a different part of my throw every time, and I don't know if it's helping or not. It is. I, think, I, I said your form was looking better and better. Yeah. Sometimes I try and focus on being level. Sometimes I try and focus on the snap. Level and snap, I would say, is probably too much. If you can keep it level, that'll control your dip, and the snap will give it a little more difficulty. Yeah. And the left is the down the hill. And it's on a hill. And if I throw it high and it lands on an edge, it's going to roll all the way to the left. That's not great. Not great at all. So let's just hope this stays pretty flat and lands just near the top. And my legs hurt too much for me to run after it. I will run, but it's not going to look pretty. It's going to look like a uh, seat of forest gum. Like metals breaking off the legs. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Perfect. That's what you wanted. That's all I ever wanted. Well, I mean, it's option B. Option A was getting it in. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, B was a little bit closer, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It's not option C. Yeah. You got to go putter. Do I? Yeah, because that, if it catches a lip, is going to roll forever. A putter is more likely to sit down. And you want this to sit down. Nice little toss there. Yeah, I got it. I got it within a reasonable toss. Yeah, you got a better putt than I do. This is not an easy putt by any means. No, your Pete is still in tough mode. I'm still territory. tough mode. He's in the TPT. The TPT. All right, just go in. All right, good Let me make the yeah. TPT a little easier. I have to give it some, like, oomph, and I don't want to go away. Yeah. Like that. Wow. <laughs> now he's even more uphill. Yeah, but at least I like the wind on this side better. Yeah, because now the wind's working with you. Yeah. And if I miss, that's all flat, so I'm okay with that. Yeah, but you weren't going to miss. Uh, well... Does that count? Yeah. As long as it's in like the basket or chains, like it doesn't count if it's on top. Oh, okay. I thought that's what you meant by on top. Oh, if it sits there, it's no good. You almost didn't get that one back. <laughs> <laughs> Skippity doo. <laughs> nice. Good putting. You're a great putter. Why? Huh? Oh, because um, foot golf, I'm real good at getting it far, but then I have no short game. No, your short game wasn't that bad. I mean, it was it was the worst half of my game. <laughs> all right, but I mean, it wasn't that bad. So my buddy and I, and I recorded it, but then I lost all the footage that day where I was very upset that I lost all the character footage too, is we did, and I already started to edit it throughout the day as we were in between stops. We started here, did a full round of disc golf, then we went and played foot golf. Then we played miniature golf. Then we played golden tee. So it was the ultimate golf day in one day. What is golden tee? It's the golf machine, like at bars with the ball. Oh, okay. So like even like virtual golf, basically. We were trying to do all the golf things we could, except we didn't have time to play ball golf. And it was there's, the most expensive. There's going to be one of those over, uh, you remember where uh, Yalman's is? Yeah. There's going to be a top golf simulator swing center. Yeah, yeah, they have one of those in AC. Those are fun. There's already one on 192, not too far from there, but now there's going to be one in the, like, Yalman's. Oh, that's fun. I so miss Yalman's. Uh, it should be reopening soon. Really? Yeah. Why'd it close? Uh, massive renovations. Okay. Uh, the whatever whatever pizza place was Al Capone's or Yeah, whatever Capone's, was. yeah. Uh, For those who know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Margaritaville Sunset Walk area on 192. Uh, so Al Capone shut down. And Which then, was shared a wall with so the Yamans. They went through a massive renovation where they gutted the entirety of the building. Wow, I'm just happy they're coming back. I really like their brunch. Yeah, they had a good brunch. They have, you know, a good good pint of Guinness, which I know you're a fan of. I do enjoy a pint of Guinness. They have a good pour. 
We were there two St. Patrick's Days ago. Yes, we were. Look at this. You got a nice little tree-lined path right up to the hill. You can see the basket on yeah, the top you of the can hill. Aim at this like second tree. Mm, yep. I think that's where I'm aiming. Is either the second or the third tree. Hole eight. It's a shorty. 226 feet. Par three. Straight ahead. So this is what I was asking for. Yeah, but straight is not fun. All right, let's see. I'm gonna go with. What what disc are you thinking? I'm going. I think I'm gonna go with the Saint. Like me. Saint Peter. The Apostle. The Rock of the Church. Saint Pro, baby. Shout out to Rock 64. Alright. Stay straight and be awesome. Nope. Oh. Ooh, that was a loud noise. Came out a little early. Came out a little early. It stayed straight, just not the direction. <laughs> it came out a little early. It was very straight. <laughs> right into the bush. Brandy says Yamas is the best Brussels sprouts, which I agree. Yeah, you you can pass me here. Or join me. <laughs> I like it. A sympathy throw, I'll take it. If you want to follow uh, some of the socials to see what we do in between our streams, my Instagram is at official Carney. My Twitter is at your WDW guy. And the TikToks of Adventures by Carney. Our Discord is Adventures by Carney. The Patreon's Adventures by Carney. And you're watching Adventures by Carney. We have a website, adventuresbycarney.fun. Go check it out. Yeah, dot fun, not dot com. <laughs> Look, we're right next to each other. Wow, we couldn't be closer if we tried. Because we're the two best friends. All right. That's not where I wanted to be. I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, you want me to clear? I'll clear it out first. I'll show you the way. I don't. I mean, I feel like I have an easier throw than you do. You do, but I'm a, I'm a Cause, cause I mean, if we look, they're you know six inches apart, but Pete is six inches farther into the bush than I am. Yeah. All right. Hook, hook, no. Oh no! Too. It was. It just didn't hook hard enough. Hook hard. I'm going to, uh, by hook or by crook, get it there. Yeah, you're good. You're a lot of 12-inch give. Well. That's good. It's safe, right in the middle. Oh, I'm gonna end it rolled a little bit. You're doing it. You're doing it. One more of those tosses, you're uh, under the basket. Yeah. I mean, we're going throw for throw on this hole. Yeah. <laughs> well, you want to believe me. By the end of this, you'll be throwing putters from here, right into the basket. Oh yeah. That was a good toss. Good toss, I'm good toss. Getting, getting some nice distance. It, it looked pretty and intentional. So you're saying I got to get this in for par? Okay, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> get the putter out. Oh, I'm getting the putter out. Where are you, dude? Just around those branches and into the... Well, it's not good. It's not great. It's fantastic. It's bad. <laughs> All right, now you're putting. Where's my orange one? Uh, I think you're right around here. Oh, there I am. Blending in with the ground. Oh, there you go. You got a little look. You could putt this in. Remember, the putter goes pretty straight, so you can aim almost right at the basket. Like, just to the right, but... Yeah, I'm aiming for, like, the three... Like... Yeah, you can even come in a little bit further, because you're closer. But, yeah, the tree bush works. Oh, get in there. That's pretty. A tap in right there. Well played. Hurrah! 
Huzzah! You have done it! I have disc golf. I'm alright, this has got to go in, actually. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. No! Pete, you're not supposed to pity do that with me. Yeah. Yeah, considering there's it would be real it would be more impressive if I missed that one. <laughs> All right. On to the next one. Hole number 9. So much room for activities on this one. Wow. If only they put disc golf over there instead of in all these trees. Oh, that would be too easy. Would it? Here we go, hold on. Oh, this one's tricky. We got a 278 foot, and it's sitting at literally the end of this trail, like on that hill. It's uh, it is tricky, you're right. Cause it, it goes to the left a little bit, or to the right a little bit at the end. Yeah. Not and our discs naturally go to the left. The little ziggy zaga. Oh, too much. Keep going. You know, it went it was too early, then it was too late. Early and late releases. <sighs> All right, you got this. Only like 30 feet less than you. It's not bad. And I didn't hit a tree. <laughs> oh, I love hitting the trees. I know. Pete's, Pete's a big uh, tree hitter. Yep. I hit him and I hug him. Yeah. Then I tell him that I love him. Wow. This is, what a great rap lyric. I hit him, then I hug him, then I tell him that I love him. Honestly, it's a little too accurate for rap. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, that Will Smith. Brandy says, highly recommend Sunset Walk uh, in general if you're in the 192 area. I agree. Sunset Walk, you could also go tour Margaritaville. We've done it here on the channel a few times, but there's a whole shopping plaza. There's also Island H2O Water Park. Ryan knows a little bit about that. Yeah, I know a little bit about it. Yeah. Been there once or twice. They have really good glow foam parties. That is fun. I want to go to one of them. I would do that. That's fun. Yeah, 18 plus. After hours, glow foam. We'll bring a DJ out. I like it. Let's do it one night. Not that much money either. It's only like 20 some odd dollars. Oh, I thought you said 18 plus. Well, 18. I'm joking. <laughs> 20 some odd is plus of 18. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> nice and safe. Nice and safe. All right, now where is the basket? Is it still up to the right? I can't even see it. You know, I'm just going to keep throwing this way yeah. until I see a basket. I feel like it's. it says it was up there to the right. I'm just going to keep ripping it. I'll give you that. And I don't know which this piece. Maybe I'll throw a putter hard. <sighs> Interesting. Because if I throw that, it might go into my parking lot. What do you do with a putter? There's a lot of confidence there, Pete. I'm just saying, if I pass it right... Could happen. I'm not saying it will. Well, yeah. If you if you did a bridge hole, you're right. you're going through that window. But now I want that with the putter. Here we go. It was an interesting choice. I'll be honest. <laughs> oh, I'm not saying that it was bad. I'm just saying it was interesting. I too. I dangerously. I don't know if it was intentional either. Uh, well, it was intentional that I wanted to hook it going to the right. I wanted to put it just on the inside of this tree, but it went just to the outside. But it still maintained that right. Because a putter, whatever you release it on that angle, it'll hold that angle the whole time. It was very cool. <laughs> so I released it, wanting it to fade to the right. Oh, the basket is over there. That was even better than I thought. Hooray. The basket's right by the disc. Wow. Right there. Yeah, your disc is right there, huh? That's great. Everything's perfect. Everything's coming up roses. <laughs> I 
feel like we had a... It is fun. These do, I mean, it's not great for planting your foot on a run, but... Good thing I don't do that. <laughs> We're going to make you start doing it soon because your technique's pretty good. If you could just get a little more power, you could add like 20, 30 feet to every throw. We're going to start doing the disc golf workout in the morning. More of the, more of the big ball with the core. I'm not doing the big ball. The big ball was bad. <laughs> I love that exercise. I get to hug something while I work out. <laughs> it's because I'm pretty sure you have more pounds of resistance than what we had the machine set to. If I tried to pick you up and move you left and right over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at you, by the way. That was a great upshot. I'm, I'm very happy with that one. That's great. Grab that putter, put her down. Yeah, that's... I don't want to say an easy putt, but a doable putt. It's very doable. That's a great up. Oh, here, you want to mind helping me out? Yeah, I'll, I'll, this I'll be Pete's out. third hand. Well, I'm getting your putter. My putter's here. Well. Here we go. Go to your home. I forgot that you were putting already. No, Peter. No. 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 All right, I'm over it. Glad you got it. <laughs> Come on, beat me. Oh, this guy just likes hanging out with me. I didn't even want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> da 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 da. Ow. Upside down. This guy's crazy. Whoa. Yeah, I got like one percent of a trick shot. I'll take your putter. Pitter. Your little pitter patter. You're gonna put her in the bag. Alright. Let's see where the next hole lies. Oh, well, cool. that's the front nine. We did we did great. Yeah. Honestly, not bad at all. We got a, it, our first front nine took an hour. It's not like we're playing super fast, but we, uh, we're having fun. We're getting our steps in. Yeah. Two hours on this course isn't terrible. Look at us, Lauren. And five hard. we are doing elevation changes. There's been a lot of hills. I know because my legs are still feeling it. Yeah, look at this, though. So this was our whole one T-pad. For the back nine, you're going to throw the other side starting with hole 10 and it takes us down the water on the other end and around the back side of the park it's fun and then the other course starts over there and goes towards the front of the park and back here we are hole 10 218 feet not far but you gotta get it down this path which is tough the basket's right behind that tree i see it and this is a tortoise habitat so be careful where you step there's the basket. Yeah, because there's gopher tortoises. It is $2 a person, Rosita, or $5 per car. It's fun. Like I was saying, if you're just joining us, we're doing a little disc golf, things you could do around Orlando you on your non-park day. Discs. You do need to bring your disc, but I believe they have them to rent here or borrow. There's also starter packs at Walmart for like 20 bucks, you get three discs. Yeah, yeah, you get a putter, a mid-range, and a driver. Yep. Um, and as you can see uh, from me, you could do it with two. Yeah, two is doable. Or, I mean, if you're in the area, hit me up. Give me some advance notice. I'll lend you some disc. Maybe I'll come out and play with you. All right, let's do it. You, uh, I'll lead off here. All right. Yeah, go, 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 go for it. Leading off number four, Peter Hardy. All right. I got to throw low. Come on. Throw low. I'm going to throw low. Nope. Something happening. Yeah, I don't know what's happening. Let's get out of here. <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted. <laughs> Perfect. 
think. I think that's what I wanted. I think I could still... Well, no, that's not the best second shot. I was going to say, I, I could still maybe par it, but... I don't know where I went. You're off to the left. I'm oh, off to I'm the right. I'm a little farther off to the left than I wanted. It's a gopher tortoise habitat. I would love to see a gopher tortoise. Let's call him. Gopher tortoise. Hey, Gopher Tortoise. Hi, it's me, Gopher Tortoise. Hey. Go for Pete. All right, you obviously know where to go here. You're taking to the right of that tree. Yeah. It's a game of inches. This is a miserable shot I have here. Look at this, Ooh. right in my way. That's, I'm gonna be honest. It's not great. It's not looking good for you. Not great. Look I'm gonna be really impressed though. Cause you're gonna get out of this somehow. I'm gonna try. I thought I was a little bit higher up that hill than I was. Let me just get a, a Pete Carney view <laughs> real quick before you throw it. This is what I'm looking at. This is what Pete gets to see. Oh, baby! Oh! It went way past the basket, but it went literally in line with the basket. I, I kind of saw it. Oh, my God. It if was, I would have heard chains, I would have lost it. Oh, there would have been a shirt off. Pandemonium! <laughs> All right, now you get it in from there. Oh, yeah. You got it. Come on. I know you're just hustling me. You're like, the next hole, you're like, let's put 200 on it. Yeah. You know me, Pete. <laughs> well, from here, you can't see the basket, but I promise on the other side of that hill. There it is. I can see it. Well, I was down a few feet. Oh. All right. You got a nice look. I think I went into that swamp area. I wanted to not hit the branches that were right in my face. I can't believe I went that far from behind that bush. From like way down too, way down in elevation. Yeah, it went, it did exactly what I wanted it to. I just didn't expect to get that much distance. All right, Brian, come on, this is you. It's your range, go to the right. Oh, you're putting that in. Oh, I'm not that bad. I'm right there. Oh, I could get a par. I could. I mean, it's very hard, but it's doable. Oh, you're not bad at all. That's not bad for out of that you're bush. You're not even in the squishy zone. I'm not in the squish. Yeah, no squish. No squish. You want to? Yeah, 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 yeah. We want to. We want to see yeah, this. No. Oh, rimmed it. Just a Son of a batch of cookies. This look from behind the chains is brought to you by SJG3 and the Patreons of Adventures by Cardi. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> the putters don't roll. That I mean, I didn't expect it popped up in the air because that you hit the top of the basket. Let me see if I can do the same thing as you. I don't know if you can. <laughs> I don't think you have the talent for hitting. The oh basket. yeah. <laughs> I would aim for the top of the basket now if I was you. Tapping it in. Very nice. Yeah. All right. We are headed. There. There. Okay. Huh. They really are mean on this one. They were what? They're mean on this one. <laughs> Why? Oh, you throw right into trees. 
I mean, you gotta hug those trees, but the basket's right there behind that tree in the middle. You throw directly into trees. I'm hoping, I'm hoping not to throw it into trees. Hole number 11. We got a 217 foot par three. We're going up and uh, it says to the right on there because you kind of have to hook it around these. It's not fun. All right, All right help me out. No, I was gonna make it harder for you. <laughs> also, your shoe's coming untied a little bit. Oh no, safety first. What are these things? These little cabins? It looks like you can rent them, little cabins. Those are fun. We're gonna have a party here. Ugh. Just got stick to the eye. Oh, that was a beautiful throw. Well, I didn't notice it hitting the tree because I was looking. I'm gonna try and cross step. Ooh, I like it. Just lift the lip of it up a little bit. Like tip it up when you release it. Just a little bit. Like that. Yeah. Just like that. The faintest amount. Love it. It's, it's your last step. You're doing an extra step. So you're doing it. But then after you go across your body, like here is where you release when you put this foot down. You're doing another step and then releasing. So you're off balance. Uh, it's because I'm already off balance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well then at least I'm making sense. It's because I'm off balance way before you thought I was. <laughs> One step off balance. Well, you're tripping yourself on the last step, which is not effective for throwing anything. I didn't say it was efficient. All right, well, we'll, stick, we'll go back to standing still for a little bit. <laughs> we'll go back to standing still for the rest of the game. I would put that same kind of lip on this because you're going to have to throw it around these trees. See how it leveled out real quick? That was a good throw. That was a good throw. Yeah, now I'm over kind of by deep. Yeah, but that was nice because when you released it with the tip just up, it wanted to go right, but then immediately corrected itself to go left when it hit that first gust of wind. It was good. Yeah. It was good stuff. Some nice cabins here. Yeah, Here's the tree I hit. You got a tough one here, but you can go way right. Yeah, I think I'm going to the palm tree. I think it's a good move. I think it's a good move. That's a beaut. You're looking right at it. All right. I wanted a good elevation change. I just want to put this nearby the basket so I can just have a tap in par. That would be nice. That would be so cool. That would be nice. I mean, it would be cool if I got a birdie. But I'd like one birdie today. This is just so. This tree is the worst. Oh, hey, Melon. Melon's here. Uh, went too far. He would try with this one. It's supposed to just slide underneath. Yeah, like that. Why couldn't you have done that the first time? Because I'm the worst. <laughs> 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 That's I why I say on my second <laughs> third, third throw over here. Well, I'm about to throw three as well. We're at the same distance at this point. Ryan has picked the game up very quickly, I'll say, Melon. Look at that. Honestly, that's going to be just a single bogue for you. Well, no. Yeah. yeah this is your throwing four. That was my fourth throw. Oh, I thought that was your One, third. Two. two got me near you. Oh, okay. Three got me there. That's still not bad. It's just a little double. Double's not bad. First double. time ever playing. That's very nice. How are you doing that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just getting creative here. I don't know if it's smart. I don't think it's the brightest. Hold it over. Hold on. Oh, we got this. All right, I'll be here to grab it when it starts to fall. Oh yeah, good call. It's probably gonna fall when I hit it. Yeah, good call. You can grab it now if you want. Probably not the best idea. I'll just hold it. I was so afraid of hitting you in the camera. 
Look at, oh God, I thought it was gonna roll all the way down the hill. <laughs> all right, you can just lift it up. Jeez. So much for trying to get fancy. And then it gets fancy. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Pete. Thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great day. If anything, Pete's gonna be a showman. <laughs> showman gotta show out. I think it's over there. Here we go. Where is it? There. I think you're right. Also, pin size, so. <laughs> All right, moving on over. Happy Thursday, everyone. If you're just joining us, we're here at Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake here in Orlando, Florida, playing some disc golf. It's $2 a person here or $5 per car. A nice thing to do to get out of the hustle and bustle of downtown Orlando where the theme park's nice and quiet, big property. You don't have to play disc golf. They have uh, five different parking lots, acres and acres of land. Biking trails. Yeah. And uh, so we decided to play this morning when Ryan and I were at the gym. Uh, Ryan, we established that he had never played disc golf. So I said, let's go play today and let's go have some fun. So here we are. I know it's not Disney, but I appreciate you hitting the like button. And uh, if you do like the theme parks and stuff to do around Orlando like this, if you haven't subscribed, please. I love that. Here we are at hole 12. We're going to do the 251 foot par three straight ahead. I see it. You got a bit Very of a straight. lawn. Very straight. You got some lawn here. It's so wide open. No trees to hit. All right, now you just jinxed it. Here we go. I'm gonna find a tree right away. Pete's hitting this tree right above us. Oh my god! It went past it. <laughs> How far is this? 250? Yeah. I think it's doing like 265. Yeah, Pete just threw it a football field. <laughs> that was good form. So you see how it S's? That's the perfect form. Yeah. So you only got a few of those per round. Yeah, you got the, the bridge holes. <laughs> I'm on two good throws. All right, Ryan's going to go further than me. Watch. Here's the hustle. Oh, you threw it high. You're better than that. I almost don't even want to count it. No level. the The distance is in the wrist snap and the muscle. The uh, I'm gonna play disc golf with a regular frisbee from now on. It's not gonna be good. Their edges are too rounded. It'll slow it down. These have a the edge comes to a like a perfect point, so yeah, it cuts they, through they, the air. They glide better. No, this glides better if you throw it level. No. I guarantee you, give anyone a regular frisbee and give any person a driver that knows how to throw a disc. They'll out throw a frisbee any day. I think I can throw way farther than a traditional frisbee. I have one at the play, my place. We'll test this out. I'll put it in my car next time we hang out. We'll throw both. I think I can throw way farther with a regular frisbee. Zero percent chance. Pretend that's a regular frisbee and just keep it level. Let's see what you do. I don't know. You're going back to your first two throws. You're throwing it high again. You got to slide it across the body. Shoulder to elbow. Shoulder to elbow. Rip it this way and then snap a doodle. All right, Ryan, snap out of it. You were improving on every hole until this one. It looked too easy. I knew it. It's because you had too much room for activities. I know. I need more trees. You need a harder hole. There you go. Just got to keep going a little further right, but yeah. I, I do better with the trees, so I wanted to be in the trees. Try to get more of a, like a lawnmower motion where like you could go slow and at the end speed it up. Like really like, like you're throwing your shoulder out on purpose. <laughs> I don't want to do You that. won't. I'm, you have a disc in your hand. If you're going flat across your body, you won't do it. But also here, you might go way past the basket. Ow, everything just cracked. <laughs> You thought about that so much. Oh, I didn't go past that. I'm right in line with it. All right, that's not bad. I might have a chance at a birdie. Might. Pete, if you don't get a birdie, I'm going to be a little upset. I'd be upset if I didn't get a birdie, too. Oh, look at the roll technique. Melon goes, try spinning afterwards. Apparently, that works. <laughs> I would love it if you just throw a spin in there. Oh, Lynette says Ryan's nervous because Melon's watching. Dun, dun, dun. Melon doesn't make me nervous. 
Did you just say Mervis? Yeah. <laughs> so Cargo says, I love Disney, but I also like to see the real Florida too. Thanks. Yeah, that's what we're going for. Well, that's why it's uh, Adventures by Cardi. Yeah, it's adventures, not just theme parks. Pete, I'm going to take this from you because you're going to... Uh, you want me to put it in there? I really want you to put it in there. Birds, birds, birds. Birds, 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 birds. I also got a birdie. Oh my god, I wasn't looking. <laughs> it's because I gave you my putter instead of yours. I threw you off. Yeah, this one's different. This one says wizard. It has been beaten in a little bit more. So beautiful lake to the left. Another dock, more pavilions. However, on this side of the course. You're along the highway, but you can see where we are at the Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake. Billy Fredo, as his friends called him. <laughs> Billy Fredo. You know what this course needs? A golf cart. Yeah. Who was it that you were saying is bringing... Uh big into e-bikes this would be prime e-bike yeah this would be great for an e-bike we were talking e-bikes the other day anyone out there have thoughts on e-bikes all right hole 13 we got a 290 foot par 3 and this is tough because the water is right behind the basket. You can see the basket right down there. Also very hard for righties because there's so much brush on the right-hand side. You want to go first or second? I'll go first. There you go. I'll show you what not to do. Now you got this. Try to put the lip up like before and then aim right at that bush in the middle. But put the lip up. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Honestly, it's not terrible. <laughs> You're also on your pullback here. I'll just, when you're going back, for some reason, you're only going here. Like, I would say reach back as far as you can and try to get more, uh, I don't know, thrust. What's the right word I'm looking for here? It's okay. Melon liked my spin. The spin was beautiful, so that's why I didn't want to judge anything. A butterfly. Oh, baby. Come on, baby. Let the good time. That bush is really annoying right now. Yeah, I wasn't worried about it. I don't know if that's good or not. I think you kind of went in the woods. What's the song that I like to sing again? Because you're lost in the woods? Because I'm, yes. From Frozen 2? Lost in the Woods. What a great song. Uh, yeah, we sang that song uh, last time we did a golfing event. Yeah. It's a common golf song. It really is written. You would think that's a golf movie. Yeah. Have well, Frozen missed. 2 is really a golf movie. <laughs> yeah, for sure. You need to boil it down. I see it. Melon says, beautiful execution on the spin. Melon says, can we get those socks with Pete's face on them? I mean, we're wearing crazy socks because it's World Down Syndrome Day. So you want me to yeah, I want you to reach back like that and then snap the wrist as you go across your body. Oh, but you slowed down. What is that? You went from fast, fast to up. slow. You got to go from slow to fast. Go slow to fast. You, went, you were here and you went like this and then you... It's like slow down to like I don't know if you want to keep it level, but go faster and then let it come out with some zip, some zip pow. No, you're doing everything else right. Now that's why we're building. We're building on uh, your foundation that you have. Zip pow. Honestly, it was high, but if that was level, that would have gone hundred feet. 
That was all right. That was probably like 80 feet right there, and you threw it way up in the air. That level flies. Zapow! That had some Zapow on it. I liked it. Did you like that Zapow? I did. I really enjoyed it. I'm not lying. I enjoyed watching it. You have a really tough toss here. This is where, again, I'd put the lip up because you want this to hug the right side and not go into the water. Yeah, I'm not going to Zapow you. No, but I would put the tip up so it hooks to the right. That was pretty. That was well done. Look at this beautiful day we're having here in Orlando. It's about 75 degrees right now. But it's got a nice breeze. I'll be yeah, honest. the breeze coming off the water is everything. I think you're in there somewhere. I think so too. Are you gonna throw or do you want me to go look? I'll throw and then you can go look. Then because I'll I go think look. I think this throw will get me into putt range. Yeah, I think so too. This is peak putt. You're gonna aim for that tree, right? <laughs> Sapel! Wrong tree. Wrong tree, wrong tree. All right. Well, let's just be really, for, I'm going to be optimistic first that I hug this outside and it's sitting in this grass. Nah, not that good. That would have been sick though. All right, let's look in here. Because I'm lost in the, there it is. All right, it's not awful. I mean, I don't know where I'm throwing it. Uh, there's really no options. The basket's right there. I have to go out towards Ryan or try something crazy. You're right. Actually, that's not a bad option. Try to get right in that little gap. All right. I'm going to try that. I'm going to aim right for you. No. That's when I'll, the first time I'll be accurate. Just watch out, I don't wanna hurt you. All right, you know what I'm really gonna try and do? I'm gonna call this ahead of time. I'm gonna try and skip it off the ground. So it's gonna come at you high, it's gonna dive, and then we're gonna take a big skip into the basket. All right. I, you standing there is actually terrifying, but here we go. Nope. <laughs> Still hanging. Doesn't count. No, it counts. Oh, uh, well, at least I got out. Oh, this is putting. Well. All right, we got it. Pete, you have to dangle from that. Hold on. I'm going to hand you this because you I to, can't do it. You have to dangle from the bush like the disc did. <laughs> yeah, I did do a shot like that once where I had to get around something. So I locked my legs on the side of the tree and I leaned. Honestly, it sounds so athletic. Uh, after our core workout today, do you want to get the putter? I could bring you the bag. Two, three. Ooh, well done. Oh. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm just really impressed that we did that throw catch thing. Yeah, that was very impressive. We didn't get it on camera, but we both exchanged disc midair. All right, you're up. Put it in there. Oh, you need a putter now. I need to grab my putter now, yeah. Shouldn't have grabbed both the putters, but I was just focused on... You were just doing a great job. Keeping rate of play high, because we got some... Great rate some, of play. Some people behind us. Oh, whoops. I'm slowing down way more than anybody else. Oh, you got to get... Come on, put that booty into it. Move your hips. What is that? You are better than that. I thought it was going to cut. You're better than that. Ugh. Yeah. 
This is dangerous, yeah, because you're so close to the water at this basket. All right. Oh, we got to get your water bottle. Yeah. I was going to offer to let these professionals play through. Well, think it down to us by the time we hit the next tee pad. Ooh, this is fun. Am I going the right way? I have to be. There's no other way to go, right? Oh, you throw out of the woods. That's cool. Cause I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> Hole 14. This is a fun out. Look at the little pathway you have to throw through. That's tricky. 221 foot par three, throw it at the highway. Okay. I don't know where I'm gonna put this, but. You're gonna put it exactly where you need to. Good call, I like that strategy. Full confidence. Keep it level. <laughs> you were working on the zip though, I saw it. I was trying to- I liked it. Put the Zapow on there. You put a little Zapow on there, I saw it. I appreciated it. For those just joining us, it is Ryan. Did you just see me flat tire myself? Yeah. Um, it is Ryan's very first day ever playing disc golf, and I think he's doing great. Listen, there's a smile on my face, so that's yeah. how you know I'm doing. We're great. outside. Do you guys want to play through? Uh, yeah, where's, where's that? Uh, right here, right in the woods. Yeah, because we got two very fast groups behind us. Yeah, I mean it's a beautiful day for disc golf. I like to see a lot of people out. Because the people behind these two are the uh, people in the disc golf shirts. Nice. I got some disc golf shirts at home. I don't wear them, but I got some. Speaking of shirts. What a great shirt. Fantastic shirt. You can find shirts like this at adventuresbycarney.fun. Although the best place to find the complete list is in the merch chat, in the Discord. I agree. Great place to be. It's Link free. Is in the, uh, little description yeah. Area below the video. Uh, I'm sure somebody is going to put it in the chat because we have a fantastic group. Of people we do. There. They're the best. Um, but the Discord, great place to if you have any Disney questions, if you have any upcoming trips, and you want to meet up with anybody, uh, and it doesn't have to be just you know Pete. Yep. If Pete's out of town, there's other people who are in town. Yeah, and there's meetups all around the country, too. We've done them. Uh, I haven't even been to them, but there's been some in Boston. Hershey, right? Yeah, we're doing a Hershey meetup in July. If everyone wants to, if you live near Hershey, we're doing a meetup in July. We also have our meetup here at Walt Disney World the same weekend as the Springtime Surprise, April 18th through the 22nd, or, yeah, I think something like that. Yes, I believe so. And you can find that in our Discord and on the website, adventuresbycarney.fun. But the Discord is completely free. As Ryan was saying, I recommend it. Uh, you could use your cell phone, your computer, your tablet, your laptop, and it's free. Recom I recommend using your real name or your YouTube, like your YouTube name, so we know who you are. Yeah, yeah YouTube name is a, uh, is a safe bet because that's how we recognize you from the uh, in the chat. If you're a chatty Kathy, chat. um, but if not, use your real name. That way, we know how to address you. You know, people like being called what they like. Being Bottom called. line: Go to the Discord. It's a great group of people. It's what? We got 300 and I think we were like 320 something last time I checked. All positive, wonderful people. Yeah, it's amazing. For it, I mean, it's basically an online chat room full of kind people, which is very hard to find. Yeah, Ooh, that yeah. guy did a trick shot. With the experts, travel agents. Yeah, I think we have seven travel agents in our Discord. And even if you do not utilize their services, which I recommend always using a travel agent. Me too, agent, me too, me too. Because it doesn't cost you any money. Yep and it saves you a lot of headaches. So many headaches, and it might save and you money. it can save you money. Yeah. But at the very least, it won't cost you anything. And you get the, basically, yeah, the free assistance of an expert. Yeah, 
Yeah, and like they know things that even like I don't understand genie plots at all. No one does. That's the beauty of it. Uh, but they do because they. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I get no one does. Uh, you can throw now. I'm afraid of this guy catching us. I was thinking that these guys were gonna catch us. No, you got this. Aim right at them. All right. I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can right at them. <laughs> Honestly, that's not a bad play. That's a good throw. That's a good throw. That's a very good Ryan throw. It's a great Ryan throw, but it's a good throw in general. Controlled level right where you need it to be. I just needed a human target. <laughs> That's all you need the whole round. Where's your desk? Uh, probably in the water by the basket. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. You see where this is? I would just aim for that tree. A little, a little cautious. I would like you to rip it a little bit there. I want it to be below this tree branch, and then I was way below the tree branch. Mine dove in here so deep. I don't know. I really hope. It would be nice if I'm, like, by the basket. Yeah, just in the basket. I just, I really hope it's on the edge somewhere. Look at this. Whoa. That is my drive. That is impressive. I mean, I have this giant tree in the way, but the basket's right there. Whoa. I'll take it. That's fun. I'm very impressed right now. I got another birdie shot here. This is a lot harder of a birdie shot. I'm gonna be it is much harder. Which one do you want first? Here, you want to hold that and then I'll go up there and watch you. Yeah. Since we're already down here with you. over it how do you miss a six foot putt for a bird what is it uh, some sort of reptile skin I think or is that a beehive it looks like a beehive yeah it looks like it's like a honeycomb kind of structure there's another dangerous hole I thought I went into the water right here That was a great putt. And it scared me. <laughs> that was good. You see that those don't really turn as much. They hold a line. Yeah. Brian, Brian, Brian. We both hate this basket, but a fun hole. That was a crazy drive. I'm really proud of that drive. That was an absolutely ludicrous drive. <laughs> From out of the woods, around these bushes, right in front of the street. Look at that tree, by the way, that has so many discs ripped into the side of it. Wow. People really have been ripping into that tree. <laughs> yeah, they got some zapow on them. Wow. You want to talk about zapow? That's got some zapow on it. I feel bad for their discs. The disc, yeah, they threw <laughs> Zapow, and the disc just said, ow, ow. It's a ow. <laughs> Who passes the D to Mr. Toad on Winnie the Pooh? The ow. Sorry. Two pads here. We're going to take the easier one. Thanks for hanging out with us. If you haven't hit the like button yet, I mean, I know these streams typically don't, you know, get a bajillion views, but we like to mix it up here on the channel. Like Ryan was saying earlier, we call it Adventures by Carney and not just theme parks or Disney World because we like to do a little bit of everything. Yeah. This is planted firmly in the adventure category. Yes. And we like to show you new things. We got lost in the woods a couple times. Lost in... 
Cause I'm hole 15. We have a 240 foot par three. And they're walking that way. So we're going to that basket right there. On the next, uh, yeah. Um, again, this looks too wide open for me. I'm nervous. You know what happens when things are too wide open? Yeah, Pete's going to hit that tree right there. Pete's gonna end up 14 feet up in that Spanish moss tree. Oh, I did hit a tree. Oh, kept going to the right. That tree is on the entirely opposite side that I expected <laughs> you to hit it on. No, because I wanted to aim it and go sailing that way. <laughs> Dawn says, these people have a lot of nerve. Expect me to attend meetings during a live stream. Thanks, Dawn. That's awesome. Lady Kirk says she loves her e-bikes. Yeah, we, uh, we're talking about some e-bikes. Ghost says, I'm only two hours north of Hershey. Well, yeah, in July, we're doing a little hangout meetup at Hershey that I'm 81% committed to right now. Which means I haven't booked anything, but I haven't also booked work. So I'm keeping it free. Tomorrowland Traveler in the house. What's up? We do have fire ants here, but uh, I haven't gotten any today. The only time I've ever gotten real bad fire ants in Florida was at Disney World. I thought I got a flat tire. I pulled over on the side of World Drive, and I put my foot right into a fire ant colony. And I was wearing sandals. So one time I was pulling uh, the, the, the dump truck behind the Disney World Resort, and I picked up the trash can. No. Oh, that's got to be the worst. I mean, my ankle and foot, I just had to put it in, like, ice buckets forever. I can't imagine my hands. Yeah, it's the worst. Yeah, I don't wish it on anyone. Except maybe one. No, I'm just kidding. I don't wish it on anyone. Except for Coyote Peterson. He makes a lot of money. Does he really? Yeah. Coyote Peterson. I don't even know who that is. He goes, he travels the world getting bit by painful insects. What a career choice. <laughs> from die. from a parakeet to yeah <laughs> the last rites what a career choice from to, <laughs> yeah no way no way i maybe i will maybe i won't it sounds brutal he does it willingly all right i'll give it one shot a lot of him just yelling on the ground Speaking of one shot, well, that was a little high, but I like the form. Um, speaking of one shot, you hear Eminem's coming out with a new album? Wow, really? Yeah. He's still doing that thing? Still doing it. Has not wrapped it up. Well, here's the tree I hit. It should be around here somewhere. I see you way over there. Oh, okay. That's not terrible. We might be able to... We might be able to get a par if I could put this anywhere near the basket. Hey, uh, if you were wondering where we were, that's where we are. Oh, yeah. Anyone, uh, if you ever lost, this is where we are. I don't know how uh, knowing where we are helps you if you're lost, but... Then you know where we are. Yes. Also, you could say you were there when Ryan hit the shot from here. You got Dang this. You, you got this. Zapow! No, but I mean, you're there. It's going to come together. I see like six sevenths of, of like all the right things. Three fifths. Are you getting your putter out already? It's putter time, baby. Oh, oh, oh. Putter time. Yeah, we got got putter carning over here. Oh. 
I was gonna. I was looking at the camera, and I was gonna be really upset if I just heard. <laughs> Just heard chains. Chains, because I didn't watch it at all. I was trying to get it on the camera. <laughs> that was as close as I could get it. I'll take it. That's definitely a par. I'm start calling you Shooter McGavin. Shooter McGavin. All right, you can get this in. There you go. Now you're putting. Ooh, a nice roll. Grab your grab your putter. How it because uh, it wasn't some pow time. No, it was not some pow time. It was... It was reasonable throw time. <laughs> yeah, that's what we call it. <laughs> reasonable throw time. Wow, you are... You are tapping in. Right there. I love it. If you miss... <laughs> oh, but then I sneeze and bang my head. There it is. Look at you. I'll get it for you, sir. Uh, yay! Hooray! All right, off. You want to let them? Uh... No, nah, if they catch us, we can at least throw, and then we'll see where they're at. Yeah. Oh, the basket's way over there. Yeah, this looks like a long one. Where's the easy greens? Well, that's the hard one. <laughs> This is, I mean, pretty open, but then you got to go into a tight hole. So you got a big gap and then a, a tight little area. What do we got? 297 feet. So just about 300 feet. A football field away. A thousand miles. A thousand miles. It's a heck of a hole. Can I swap with you? Or, there you go. Where are you, driver? Where are you, driver? See, we get some Disney and Universal, and even if we're not here. Oh, that's not going to come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Oh, all right. right the if you didn't hit that tree, that would have been pretty nice. That would have been incredible. It just didn't cut as early as you I wanted, wanted it, it to. It cut way earlier, but it's all right. It worked. That's good. If you go again, there's, I mean, three fifths, three fifths. A little high. A little high. If you could just level that out, I mean, everything else is looking so sweet. I got a good snap on it. I got a good pal. You definitely, I mean, like I said, you're, most of the elements are there. It's very impressive that this is your first day ever playing because what you're doing, I've seen guys do after like six months of playing twice a week. We used to, when we played Long Island, so you saw the Long Island disc golf, uh, like, disc that I have but we used to have tournaments all the time and guys would just come out and we used to have weekly doubles matches and guys would be throwing like you for a year you have improved every throw and it's your first day playing I'm impressed uh, I got a good coach you're doing great all right your coach tells you to aim for my disc I really like that they're all really brightly colored <laughs> though that's why I buy them brightly colored <laughs> <laughs> you can buy it in any color you want. Like, I have black disc at home. I'm like, I'm never going to use this. No. No. I'm like, I need to find it. Exclusively sand. Yeah, that would be clutch. Like, if you were doing beach disc golf. There is a Cedar Beach course on Long Island, but it's on golf course surrounded by beach. Go, go start, start higher on the back end, and then that way you're coming across your body level instead of scooping it. There it is. Look at that. You're getting an extra 10 feet there. That's a 50, 60 foot throw. I think now I might be able to throw this farther than a Frisbee. Yes. But earlier today. All right. Fair enough. You, didn't, you weren't that confident yet at that point of the argument. Earlier today, if I didn't improve to this level, I know that I could throw a Frisbee farther than I was. Okay. Uh, whatever you say. Bring a frisbee out. I will. I'll work next time we hang out. I'll bring it to the Magic Kingdom if I have to. A good 40, 50, 60 feet. We'll do it inside Soren. Whoa, look at this little guy. Did that say Highway Patrol? It's that Highway Patrol on it. Those are the cops? Wow, writing tickets from up top. You know when it says monitored by aircraft? Yeah, that's the aircraft. That's the aircraft. 
Wow, that's wild. All right, you throw. They're behind us. Faster than if they call the cops on you. Do you think he's traveling at the same speed? I think he might be traveling. No, there's markers on the road. Slightly above the rate of speed. There's markers on the road down there. If he was going 55, that plane would come plummeting down. No. A thousand percent. No. There it is. A little high, but it works. You're on the way. Cause you're on your way. On your way. You're good. I didn't necessarily want it high. I just wanted a harder cut. Deep cuts with Ryan. Wow. Well, you did too good of a job. <laughs> it went much further than I thought it was going to go. If you didn't skim the ground, you would have been perfect. Yeah, I actually was hoping that the ground would slow it down. Because when it came out, I'm like, ooh, that's got some spin to it. Yeah, you just hit too leafy of a zone. Good moves. You see, you're much smarter than I am. I was getting a little toasty. I'm getting toasty for sure. Although this, this uh, Adventures by Carney shirt is very breathable. It's very breathable fabric. It is black. I do wear it at the parks um, because it's slimming, but it's breathable. It's very breathable. It's absorbing my sweat nicely. I know, and we have to get you a tank. We're out of. We're sold out of men's tanks. Yeah, we'll grow you into it. We'll have a big lunch. There you go. You got the control. I'm telling you. You're there. I did eat eight eggs for breakfast. Eight eggs? Sweet, sassy molasses. Yeah, eight eggs scrambled with some mozzarella cheese. Wow, look at you. I uh, I did lunch for breakfast this morning. I did a uh, chicken ball. I was craving chicken after the gym, so I did chicken, a little rice, just a little bit of cheese, and just a little bit of uh, sour cream. Fantastic. Oh, thanks, bud. They're uh, easy and fun to make. I, I've seen them made. <laughs> it's my go-to. <laughs> quick and easy, but they're yep. also delicious. That's what I go for. Quick, easy, and delicious. That's uh, was my yearbook quote. <laughs> hey oh. There's old Ryan. You know him. <laughs> QED. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, just called me Fred. Oh, here comes the Q train. All right, let's get our putters out and dominate this basket. Aggressive. This is how you go. I'll record you from the other side. Okay. You're gonna go find your disc. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I'm not that bad. Okay. All right. No, I'm in a little bit, but not crazy. Here, human target. Ooh, nice line. Most impressive. I'm right there. All right, let's back ourselves in. Nicely done. I know you just set it up nicely, but... <laughs> no, I don't, I'd rather you have it. Oh. oh! It's okay, now you get to do one of your fun little tricks. The second one was dramatically worse. <laughs> yeah. Dramatically <laughs> worse. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
I'll get your water bottle. Well, there's our bed. Well, I, yeah, we have to go this way anyways. Something about tea. Bill was saying something about teas and water bottles. Hold on. I don't know how to do this. Pete, I messed it all up. Yeah, we're still live. I didn't mess it up that bad. Hole 17, we got two holes left. There's a 300 foot par three. How do I make the chat show up? Uh, just move your finger up or down the screen. Okay. Yeah, uh, Bill saying twenty-five dollar teas, twenty-five dollar water bottles. It's a twenty-five dollar bonanza T-shirts, hats, water bottles. Could be yours at adventuresbycarney.com. All right, here we go. Although I'm coming out a new Epcot shirt soon, so save your money if you want a new shirt. But if you want the classic, the classic is the classic. Uh, you can buy it at any time. <laughs> no better time than the present. All right, right. I think. Apparently, we're coming out with some blue hats and blue shirts. I go black because I still need to slim down, but the blues are nice. Lauren has some blues. I think blue hat would be cool. Blue hat would be cool too. Pull you down a little bit. Yeah, we'd have to match my outfit. I got it. I guess you're right. If I'm rocking the shirt. Grip it harder, like your hand. Yeah, like that. There you go. So you see how you got more spin? Yeah. So if you grip it like that, and then I would just say hold on to it about a second longer because you released it early. And again, just try to work on the level, and that'll fly. That will fly. That felt good. It looked good. Um, here's the thing with blue hats, though. And you'll get this because, you know, you're like me in this way a little bit. Where or anything, yeah, anything light colored will show up so much more with the sweat especially coming into hot season at disney like if we were in like new york or i was anywhere else where i wasn't in 105 degree heat walking around with a camera in my hand for three hours yeah <laughs> like i'd be able to get away with it at least if i'm going like in and out of air conditioning but i don't know if people i don't know if people no we're going down this way well that was the one we already did we already did that one okay um where'd you go right here yeah, yeah right there here. you are that's gonna be a fun out yeah <laughs> Aim at that basket, actually. Ryan's got a tough shot here. Thanks, everybody who's watching and hit the like button. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a great Thursday so far. Nice out. Perfect. Right in the middle of the fairway. Let's see if we can see the basket yet. That was great. Oh, this basket is tucked in that little driveway. I don't know what you're gonna call it. Oh, we gotta, we that gotta tiny go little driveway. clearing, <laughs> tiny little clearing right there. Back in the trailer. This is a tough one. That's it. That's the move. That was perfect. That was beautiful. You win a gimbal. Congratulations. Hooray! I get to hold the gimbal. Well, you're going to naturally curve that way anyways. Pete. I don't know if that was the best shot. <laughs> you don't know? Well, let's get it. Cool. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> the way the reason that I'm laughing uh, is because here is where we need to go and there is where Pete went Wow. All right. It's almost like it's not your first tree that you've been stuck in. Oh, I'm in a new tree. Where's your disc? Ah, uh, there it is. How do I get out of here? I feel like I just need to get dropped. Just throw it hard. My advice worked. You're right on the driveway. Oh, okay. That works way better than what I thought. All right. Yeah, you're, you're putt territory. Yeah, that's not bad. I'll take that. I mean, I ripped open my back and neck, but... Worth it. <laughs> Worth it. Why don't you be like, what happened to you? Who were you with? I'm gonna go, she was a wild woman. <laughs> Cedar. Spruce. Spruce. What an effeminate name. It's actually what cologne I'm wearing is Oaky Must. Yeah? Oaky Musk. Is that, did you just put it on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, boy. All right. Here I am. There's the basket. There's Ryan. Wow, look at all these disc golfers out. This is awesome. I've never seen this many people on a course. There's so many disc golfers out. And like for, what, Thursday at noon? Yeah, this is crazy. Orlando! All right, all right. Go to your home. Always! Ah! All right, boys. Ah! <laughs> Up. Twinning. Thought it was easy. Twinning. Twinsicling. Whoop. We did it. Look at how good we are. All right, last hole. Thanks again for watching. If you came in late, we are approaching our last hole of the day. Hole 18 here at Bill Frederick Park at Turkey Lake in Orlando, Florida. It's about 10 minutes away from Universal, about 25 away from Disney. It is $2 a person or $5 per car, whatever's cheaper. I'm not sure if you can rent discs, but I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, I would just check the website. Disc golf, it's a fun time. You can buy a set from Walmart. Yeah, Walmart's gone for 20 bucks for a three disc set. Um, or just go to any like, uh, I don't know, a lot of like used good athletic stores or thrift stores have used ones. I have a bunch of extras too. I'd be happy to lend them out. Here we are. Hole 18. Oh, this is a hard one. 222 feet, but... Where in the world is the backpack? This... No, there... I think these are the two pads. The other pad what used to be there. Unless there's one down there below us. But I don't think there is. Because I threw from up here last time. But you have this giant... Uh, crater yeah but we're going up by those steps we've got the grand canyon to cross and then it's up there to the left i wish i knew how much further after all right let me see so those are the steps oh it's a ways so after the steps it just keeps going yeah and it's 222 feet yep all right i'm gonna go driver i was gonna throw a putter but time to drive this train here you can have that thanks Earned it. I've earned it. Right. Honorary gimbal holder. It's a, I had to work my way up. I think that was magnificent. Just do what I did. 
I think it's a good idea. It's high, but I mean, you gripped it, but it was very high. Really in the bushes. <laughs> we're, we're gonna go on a disc watch. Really, really, really in the bushes. He's in the bush. <laughs> I couldn't even use the orange ones on Long Island in the fall because all the leaves, they would just blend in. Ah. Yeah, it happens sometimes. Ooh, a nice little fire pit. You got a... Oh, yeah, 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 over there. Yeah, that's cool. It's nice. They got uh, some water and a hydrant just in case. And you do need a burn permit... You don't need a burn permit in Montauk. Um, I'm pretty sure you're over here. I see you. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, I see you too. <laughs> that is your point of entry. I just had two ants hanging out on my shoulder. Cactus. Is it one or is it multiple? Cacti? There's no Florida head cacti. Oh, yeah. Hi, Dad, about Disney. Wow, Dawn was also bitten by fire ants uh, during a flat tire situation in Florida, too. Wow. And the Polynesian and the World Showcase. Jeez, you, uh, they love you. Melon says she doesn't think we have cacti in Florida. Pull it out as a sample, bring it to her. Have it we'll have it forensically analysis. Analysis assist. An analysis done. Oh, I was about to say that was beautiful. Actually, that's still not bad, but I mean That was uh that was a great out. As we say in the disc golf world. What do you call this thing? Ryan's holding a cactus. Oh, that's a cactus. That's a cactus. Yeah, throw it to me. I'll show everyone. Uh, no. I'll catch it. I don't. Throw it to me. Don't catch it. I won't catch it. I'll bat it down into my face. Don't bat it down either. All right, I'll throw it to me. Oh, come on. What is it, a disc golf throw? Yeah. <laughs> that is definitely a cacti. It was growing. Hit it with my disc a little bit. Where'd it go? It's right there. No, not the cactus. Oh. <laughs> right here. You know, I'm out of the bad bush. Nah, you're all right there. You got room and you can see the basket. And look at my disc. That's not bad to the basket. Oh, there's the basket. Okay. I just, that was my only option. That first throw. I would do that same toss again here. Just grab it and go behind your water bottle. So you're not like getting ripped up and shredded. That's a nice shirt you have on. It is a nice shirt that I have on. <laughs> I expected it to cut and it didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to say anything. I don't want to yell in your last, but I'm like. He's not gripping that thing at all. He's just loosey goosey. Oh, loosey goosey. All right, this is a hard shot because you got to rip this thing. You got to rip it. There it is. Skip right up there. That's a good shot. I like it. You know, from being the, from being the 
He had lost in the woods. Yeah, you. That was good. Exploring the native cactus fauna. Look at this. I'll take this drive on this hole all day. That was my best drive ever on this hole. I mean, I'm not going to go in here, but I can get a par, which is exciting stuff. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. You could go in right here. That's, I got a lot in the way. Well, okay. This is perfect because now I'm hungry for lunch. Yeah, now you can go have another chicken. <laughs> I might. Oh, just tickled the branches. Every time. I'm high if I'm holding the gimbal. I'm low if I'm not. What is happening? There it is. That's the sound of victory. And with that, Ryan wins by two strokes. Yeah. So you see these three dots? Yeah. We had a round, uh, a tournament once in Long Island. Those are glow in the dark. Glow in the dark. You had to play disc golf in the dark. It was wild. Everybody had a flashlight on their head, and everyone had to put the glow in the dark stickers on them. Couple of lost disc. Uh, yeah, I would assume so. For the whole tournament, I don't think I lost any, but uh, it was a fun tournament. Look at these ants. Oh wow! That is a colony and a half. They are working hard. They're doing their job. Well, there you have it. Disc golf, 18 holes. Ryan, what did you think? It was your first time ever playing. I thought that it was a lot of fun, but it is more difficult than TikTok makes it look. <laughs> I would agree with that. Uh, it is not as easy as it looks, but it is fun, and you can pick it up very quickly. And again, it just involves a couple of discs. You just throw the disc. Hopefully some of my coaching on the stream today, and again, I'm not great, but I just know some of the basics. But it's I mean, a lot of fun. You see the coaching improve me. Yeah, you got better. I mean, every throw, you were getting better and better. Unbelievable for your first day playing, honestly. That was really good. Um, yeah, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I know, again, it's not Disney or a theme park, and that's what everybody likes, but something a little different. If you haven't hit the like button yet, I'd really appreciate it. Uh, please subscribe. We do a lot of fun things in Orlando like this, but also we'll be back at Disney this week in Orlando doing universal stuff. And we're going to go to SeaWorld soon because they have a new roller coaster coming out. I'm trying to get on the media list for that. Their new penguin coaster opens up soon. That could be any time in the next few weeks. And, uh, yeah, thanks for hanging out with us. My, uh, Instagram is at official Carney. My X or Twitter is at your WDW guy. We have an awesome Discord, it's Adventures by Carney. The TikTok's Adventures by Carney. The website's adventuresbycarney.fun. We got a meetup in April. Brian, anything you want to plug? Uh, no, join the Discord. Come uh, come to the meetup. Uh, come uh, play mini golf with us during the meetup. Yes, we will be having a mini golf tournament. Uh, and I hope everyone has an awesome rest of their Thursday. Uh, Dad, any libations being consumed? No, we didn't do any this morning. Uh, we did get here at 10, so it was a little early. But also, uh, there is this big sign right over here that says that uh, alcohol is illegal in this park. I mean, I didn't see the sign. But uh, yes, you should not drink here. There's a sign that says don't drink. I mean, I've been known to have a few on the disc golf course. But uh, yeah, a nice day at the park. And that was just one of the courses that was the original. There is a whole other 18-hole disc golf course. Maybe we'll do it another day. Because uh, it's good exercise. You get to walk around. We got, a, is. We got some sun. We got some exercise. We What's better than that? Scratches from trees. Two and a half hours of cardio. Yeah. Lauren's going to be so proud of us. I know. And we worked out this morning for an hour at the gym. We're killing yeah. it today. 75 hard who? <sighs> 75 easy. Yeah. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Ryan, thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Of course. Have an awesome Thursday, and uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. I hope that bell is on. That way you don't miss it. Have a great day. I love you. Do me one big favor. Please be kind to one another. Let's change the world. See you later. Bye bye.
<laughs> Millet said no backpack beer. So unlike Pete. All right. Have a good day, everyone. <laughs>